Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a website or portfolio using Composer. You can get Composer from Composer.net and it is a free download. Um, what's great about Composer is it's what you see is what you get. So if you don't have Composer, you got to download it. Otherwise, if you have it, you should go to Programs and it should be inside there. Composer spelled the K, kind of funny, but uh, if you want to Google it, that's how you spell it, Composer.net. Alright, so how is this different um, or how does this work compared to just using Notepad? So for example, if I say hello world and I uh, you know, choose red or something like that, hit OK, I can go to the source code here and it shows me what it did. It already put in all the HTML tags that I need. Um, it's just so much quicker. If you understand how to use the program, it's so much quicker than just um, typing in HTML. All right, so what I want to show you today is how to make, again, a website, a simple website or a portfolio. So the first thing I'm going to do is well, let me say first, if, if you want to make it more complicated and you really in, know what you're doing, you're probably going to want to use CSS to make your web page. But this is just a simple tutorial, so we're going to use tables to format ours. So the first thing I'm going to do is, well, before I even get into that, here's what you should do. Create a folder. Just right-click on your desktop, or if you're one of my students, uh, do it on your H drive. But right-click, New, and Folder. And inside, and go ahead and call that folder Website. We're going to put everything inside of there. Okay, so do that first. All right. So the next thing that you need to do is I'm going to go to go table, insert table. And what is a table exactly? Well, let me get one in there first. I'm going to just go one by one table. It's not really a table, it's just kind of a cell then. What this allows me to do is I can put um, things inside of this table and I can format it so it kind of sticks with it. So for example, let's say I'm going to enter down a few times here. And I'm going to insert another table. And in this table, I'm going to go four wide and hit OK. Now, see, if I put something in these tables, it's going to, it's going to uh, make sure it stays on the page a certain way. Okay. So, for example, I'm going to have my name up here. Um, I'm going to call myself John Smith, really original. And uh, let's say I have what I'm wanting these. I'm going to have personal information. All right. Click the next box, awards, and see how it's moving? It's trying to adjust for me automatically, and I'll show you how to fix that in a second. Honors and interests. And you might have something else. This website, maybe I'll have like products and whatever else. Academic information. And lastly, sample student work. All right, there we go. So these would be like my buttons on the page, but already like I want to be able to see the background and I want to format this table the way I, I want it to look. Um, and again, if you already look at my source code, see how much coding it's already put in there for me? It's great. Okay, so um, let's say I want these buttons all to be the same size. Okay, so what I can do is I can right click table cell properties and inside this cell, you can see I'm on the cells tab, I'm going to change the width to 25, not pixels, but percent of table, and I hit apply. And it'd be nice if I could do all three of these at once. Maybe I can. Let's see if that works. Uh, right click table cell properties, 25%. Change the percent of table, apply. And there we go. I don't think it really worked. I think it only worked on one of them because this one's 385. It's much too large still. So, well, let me adjust these. Table cell properties, yeah, I didn't do it for the rest of these. 25% of table. And right click table cell properties, 25, 25% 25 of table apply. There we go. So they're all even now, right? And I don't really like where they're at. They're not centered up, right? So I can just highlight them and hit center, and it'll center them up, which is great. Um, the other thing that I want to do is you see this table, it's, it's taking up the whole screen, and that's probably okay a lot of times, but let's hit, make it a little different. I'm going to, again, right click table cell properties. You're going to go there all the time. <laughs> And for this one, I'm going to go up to table, all right, and I'm going to do center, all right, and uh, let's only do, let's make, let's have the table only be 80% of the window. Hit apply and then okay. And you can see it's kind of squished everything in a little bit. So if I hit save now, what it's going to ask me is it wants to title the page. The title of the page is what Internet Explorer, or Firefox, or Google Chrome, you know, web browsers, what, um, what's going to be at the top of the page. It's not necessarily the file name, and I'll get to that in a little bit. So I'm going to call this one sample 
student work. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, that only saved the title. That's not actually the name of the file. Um, so I'm just going to call this one sample. All right, sample. And the, where, where you want to save that is you want to save it in your website folder. Mine's already there. Mine's under desktop website. If you're my student, please save it on your H drive, create a folder called website, and save it under there. Just leave it as one name. All right. Don't don't um, have spaces, and, and you can have it longer. Like if I want to sample work, I could do that, but don't put a space in. It kind of screws things up later for some of the things we want to do. So then I hit save. Okay. So let's see what it's this done. So if you if you launch uh, Firefox, you can go to File, Open File, and I have my folder here, website, and I have some stuff in it. So, but here's my sample page. So I'm going to open that up. All right. And there it is. So I can hit Control and I can zoom in and out. And see how it automatically, even though I'm zooming in and out, my buttons and my words move around, but these, these are always taking up 25%. And the, the background or the uh, um, this page is always staying at 80%. So on some computers, it might look like this because the resolution's different. And on some computers, it might look like this because their resolution's different than yours. So that's why that's the advantage of using percent over pixel. All right. All right, back to this. All right, so um, it's okay now. But what I want to do is I want to put in some more information under my name. And in fact, I want a picture as well. Um, well, let me, let, me get, let me show you a couple other things quick, just so you understand. The way tables works is you can have tables inside of tables, because we have this one cell table and we have this four cell table over here. Let's say you wanted your, um, you wanted your table to have your buttons on the left and your content on your right. So the way I would do that is I would insert table and have two wide. All right, and on this part of the table, I would insert also um, four buttons, one tall. See, so my content could be over here, and I can just go up here to the top if I want. And I can just adjust this like that. So I can have my buttons in here instead, and then have my content in here, and then I could just get rid of this table. If you ever want to get rid of a table, just hit the little X, and it'll get rid of it. If you want to undo it, Control Z, and it comes back. All right, so I just want you to understand that's one way to format it. And if I want to see those changes, you know, I could put blah, blah, blah in each of these and blah, blah, blah in here. And in Composer, or if I, if I, and if I save this now, launch Firefox and refresh, it would show those changes. And again, it keeps nice and formatted for me. So for us, though, I'm just going to leave the buttons at the top. You can, oops, you can do it any way you want if you would like. Just X this off if you don't want it. You get those little X's and it gets rid of it. Okay. Um, let's put a picture in. Now, here's one thing I want to show you. If I just like, let's say I want my picture over here on the right side. So I'm going to go insert picture or image, and I'm going to open image location. Right, I'm going to choose a file. And right now it wants to look inside of here. And right now I have my HTML file in here, right? Here's what I'm going to do though. I'm going to, I'm going to do new folder, and I'm going to have it called images. And I'm going to put all of my things inside of this images folder. So please. Uh, just drag them into there. If you already have them in there, um, that'd be great. And so, so I'm going to go to images now. And here is a picture of a man. This isn't me. It's just somebody I found online. And I'm going to hit OK. And what it needs right now is, sorry, I was just interrupted. Um, anyways, if you look, it says images slash man JPEG. And if we look at our folder, so the way that works is, if I have this man JPEG in the images folder it'll look here where it's at and here's my man so that works now if you had that image a, image on let's say a different part of your computer this it would have to say like you know c colon my document slash images slash man dot jpeg if you ever move it or rename it it's not going to work so please make that website folder and the images folder and put everything inside the images folder except for the html files okay just to keep it all organized all right, back to this. So the next thing you gotta do is put in your alternate text. So I'll say, you know, picture of me, even though it's not. And <laughs> I'll hit OK, all right? Now right now it's huge, right? And then I can just resize it right here, or I could have resized it earlier too. And let's make it it's nice and small. Let's say, okay, oh yeah, I want this to the right side of the picture. I want my name on the left. If I go right, it puts it all to the right. Right, it kind of, it's it's not what we really want. We want to keep these separated. And there's really no good way of doing it um, that'll work right. So instead of doing it that way, what what I'm going to say is I would like you to do it this way. I'm going to go insert table and go just too wide, 
And I can just drag that picture into here. And my name, I think I can just cut it out and paste it in here like that. And I don't really need this space up here at the top. All right, so that's better. Now, if we don't really want it this wide, I'm going to just uh, squish it over to the right here. Or again, I could set it to a certain percent of the window size. Maybe want a little bigger than that. It's kind of up to you. Um, and I could uh, let me stretch this out a little bigger. All right, there we go. And then John Smith. Now, the, the name's like right here at, in the middle of the page, kind of weird. Again, if it has to do anything with what it looks like, right click, table cell properties. And if I look inside the cell, it has vertical alignment right here. They have alignment for the cell and for the table. So under the cell, though, I'm going to go vertical, top, horizontal, on the left. Yes, apply. That looks pretty good. See, I have it up here. And since this is kind of like this web page is all about me, so I'm going to up the size right here. This gets larger and smaller fonts right here. So I'm going to make it pretty large. All right. And then maybe I would put under there my personal information if this is like a portfolio for whatever else. Okay. So I'm going to fill in my information. I'm going to pause it. And you can do All right. So I got my information in. So I'm just going to highlight the details and I'm going to make that smaller just by pressing the smaller A. And it'll go in like that. And we'll fix this issue in the next video. So this is video one and go on to video two. Thank you.